FO Purifier Mitsubishi SJ Series Horizontal Shaft Assembly Overhauling Before we start, if you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe Pinoy Si Makinista, ang bago mong katropa. Safety Precautions Make sure that the power supply to the starter panel is switched off. Close the FO and let the outlet valves. To begin with, remove the drain plug to remove the lubricant from inside the gear case. Remove gear case cover. Disconnect the motor wiring connection. Lift and support with chain block, then remove the bolts and pull out the motor. Attention! The friction clutch might come off and fall down. Remove the friction clutch inserted in the friction boss mounted in the motor. Remove the cup nuts of the connecting tubes at the gear pump. Note, make sure to place container under the pump to receive the oil that is drained off. Remove the bolts tightening the gear pump with the hexagon rod spanner and remove the pump from the main body. Loosen the screw of the safety joint attached and remove the safety joint and screw. Then, remove the two bolts that fasten the bearing retainer. Remove the four bolts that fasten the large bearing housing and screw with two push bolts in the groove to loosen the large bearing housing and remove the bearing housing. Remove the lock nut and washer securing the friction pulley on the horizontal shaft. Pull out the friction pulley using the jack bolts, push bolts, and handle or by your bare hands. Pull out the entire horizontal shaft towards the pump side. If the horizontal shaft is hard to pull out, hold a copper rod or wooden slab and strike it lightly. Make it sure not to damage the oil seal, threaded portion of the horizontal shaft, key, and spiral gear. In this case, we loosen the bolts that fasten the spiral gear and remove the spiral gear, then pull out the horizontal shaft. This is to prevent the gear from damage. Dismantling of the horizontal shaft. Remove the retainer ring C. Loosen the socket set screw securing collar 2. Remove the pump side bearing together with the collar 2 using jack bolts, push bolts and handle, or a puller. Then remove also the bearing retainer. Take note, when you remove the bearing, replace it with a new one. Remove the pulley side key. Support the gearbox with a pipe or something else and strike lightly the horizontal shaft from friction pulley side with the copper hammer or wooden slab to remove collar 1, bearing, and the gearbox. Assembling of the horizontal shaft. Clean and inspect the parts and renew if necessary. Support the gearbox with a pipe or something else. And from the pump side, mount the gearbox to the horizontal shaft. Lubricate the engagement part and align with the key. Then from the pump side, tap the horizontal shaft using the wooden slab or copper hammer. When the gearbox is completely mounted to the horizontal shaft, set the horizontal shaft to the vise. Insert the bearing retainer, mount the bearing, call R2, tighten the socket set screw, and set the retainer ring C. On the friction pulley side, mount the bearing, followed by the collar 1, and mount the key. After assembling a horizontal shaft is completed, from the pump side, insert horizontal shaft. Set the spiral gear to the bolt holes and fasten the bolts, and tighten. Mount the bearing housing. Set the bolt holes and fasten the four bolts to tighten the bearing housing. Set the two bolts that fasten the bearing retainer and tighten. Mount the safety joint attached and tighten the socket set screw. Fasten the bolts to tighten the gear pump with the hexagon spanner to mount the gear pump to the main body. Connect the cup nuts of the connecting tubes to the gear pump. Mount the friction pulley, washer, and lock nut to tighten the friction pulley and set the lock washer to prevent from turning. Insert the friction clutch to the friction boss. Lift the motor with chain block. Fasten the four bolts and tighten the bolts to mount the motor. 
Connect the motor wirings accordingly. Make sure that it is properly connected according to markings or numbers to prevent the motor running in reverse. Fill in the inside gear case with the new lubricating oil up to the markings of the level gauge and close the gear case cover. That's all for the horizontal shaft overhauling. I hope this video enlightens you on how to overhaul the purifier Mitsubishi SJ series. Keep safe and God bless us all.